Mr. Greg Kofi Brown. Greg, how you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good, man. Yeah. 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 So, um, do you want to tell us a bit about some of the stuff that you've done in the, in the past and everything? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you know, I, I've been living in London for quite a long time, and um, mm. I've had the pleasure of working with people like Peter Green and Fleetwood Mac and um, Joe Cocker, Eric Burden. Uh, in 2003, I produced an album for Damalola Taylor, uh, the, the African boy who got murdered in London. Mm. And I got Sting and Desiree, Gabrielle, um, uh, the Gorillas, Greg David, Miss Dynamite to perform on the album. And it raised 100,000 pounds for the Damalola Taylor Trust. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm a bass player, guitar player, singer. Uh, teacher, educator, and uh, I love London. How did you get involved with Tim? Uh, I've known Tim for over 30 years. Uh, I met Tim through uh, a mutual friend named Margot Sagoff who played guitar with uh, Amazulu. And we became really close friends. Uh, we've played together off and on for 30 years doing African music, blues, reggae, and uh, recording and writing together. He's a really good friend. He's the godfather of my youngest son. Uh, and uh, he's a great, great musician, great singer, and a really funny chap. Now, did you know about Tim's love of, of, of motor racing and all that stuff? Did you know him? Of course, yeah. I knew uh, when I first met Tim, um, he always went on about, he wanted to take me go-kart racing. I said, nah, I don't think so. That's that it's a bit too low to the ground for me. I'm, I'm more of a, uh, uh, a stock race car driver myself. And uh, so I, I know of his love for driving, uh, racing, and, uh, and his pictures uh, that he took when he was a kid. And, uh, and I'm so happy that this book has come out. It's about time. Um, he's very passionate about uh, racing and his pictures. He's even done pictures for me. He's an amazing photographer. So, I mean, I don't like him very much because he's very talented guitarist, photographer, raconteur, race driver. You know, he scares the daylights out of me sometimes when he's driving to me to a gig. You know, he thinks he's on the, doing Formula One. <laughs> me too, me too. One more thing, just, just quickly. Uh, you've, been, you've been spending quite a bit of time in Russia, haven't you? What's that about? Yeah, um, well, uh, I've been building my profile uh, in Russia for the last three years. Last year I was in Russia six times. Uh, mm -hmm. This year I will probably be going to Russia about five times. I've got um, a regular kind of job work there. Uh, I tour there uh, several times a year, and I also work as a celebrity judge for music festivals in, uh, in uh, St. Petersburg and in Krasnodar. Wow, wow. Yeah. Just briefly, what is the Russian live scene like and everything? Oh man, the blues scene in, uh, in St. Petersburg reminds me of what the blues scene was like in London back in the 60s and early 70s. It's absolutely cracking, it's amazing. And they have amazing musicians in Russia. Uh, every small town to cities, even villages, they all have music conservatories. And uh, the, the level of musicianship when it comes to classical music and jazz is outstanding. So uh, I have bands all over Russia. I've probably seen more of Russia than most Russians. Uh, from Irkutsk in Siberia to Kaliningrad next to, to Germany, from Arhangelsk uh, up near the White Sea, uh, the White River, uh, down to the Black Sea, Sochi and Krasnodar, uh, and all in between. I've been all over Russia, I have bands all over Russia. The Russian people are absolutely amazing, they're generous. I've got so many presents. Uh, when I play Russia, I have bags of presents that I haven't even got to yet. You know, every time I go to Russia, I have to buy an extra suitcase. The people are so generous. They're very passionate, very emotional. They love the music, and uh, they're absolutely amazing. Thanks, Greg. Much appreciated, man. Thank you. Cheers.